Merry Christmas, Feliz Navidad, and uh, Melikiliki Maka, and all that stuff. Hope everyone's having a great day so far, and I know it's early, but by the time you see this, it won't, so hope you had a great day. Uh, I'm put some charcoal in this grill. I want to let it get burned down to some coals. I got a piece of wood on there. I got another piece of wood. If I need it for later, it's going to take about three to three and a half hours. I'm just going to smoke this ham. You know, hams, it's not that hard to do. They're pre-cooked, so I mean, just got to get an internal temperature of 130 to 135-ish. You don't want to dry out, though. So let's go ahead and let's put some charcoal in this grill. Let's get it fired up. Okay guys, one of the things about filming outside, we got dogs barking, sounds like we got the uh, vacuum cleaner running over there somewhere. So anyway, sorry about that. Let's get this in here. We'll use about half this bag to start with. Get her all heated up nice. Then we'll spread the coals out, we'll get the ham on. Then, I don't think I'm going to glaze the ham this time because of sugar reasons, you know, in the family. So I'm just going to put the ham in here. I'm going to smoke it. Here we go. This stuff lights so easy, guys. I'll show you what I'm using here in a minute if you didn't see it. using this stuff here it's cheap and uh, lights right up okay so let's go get the ham ready okay guys I've got an assistant over here mm -hmm. raise this up say Merry Christmas mama Merry Christmas everyone All right, sit this like like down there so I can just slide this over Ooh. that sucker's heavy yep it's heavy gonna be okay almost 14 pounds 13.88 so yeah i want to make sure we had plenty <laughs> all right we'll see you in about an hour hour and a half okie dokie yummy <laughs> there's there's monkey let's get monkey over here for you look yeah. at her all pretty <laughs> Aw, <thanks. laughs> yeah <laughs> maka, mama yeah say that no say it for the it's Christmas. Say it again. Malekiliki Maka. Malekiliki Maka. So you should just say Merry Christmas to all <laughs> our Hawaiian friends. Yep. <laughs> okay, guys. We're sitting on about 345-ish. I did come out and I turned it over once, added some more charcoal. Ooh, look at that. We got some juices starting here. Close her back up. Let it go for another hour. It's been about an hour and it's been about an hour and 25 minutes. Um, this is going to take about three and a half hours. You want to go about 15 minutes per pound. Uh, a lot of people will tell you 20 minutes. That doesn't really matter as long as the internal temperature of that ham is around 130, 135. Because remember, this is a pre-cooked ham, so. Really, all you're doing is heating it up, but I wanted to get that, that smoky flavor. Take one more gander at it. There we go. Yes. And my next video, you'll get to see all my stuff I got for Christmas. Um, Monkey and her mom always always know what to get, and it's just it's amazing. So anyway, there we go. I got to go and make some noodles. I already have a video of that, so I'm not going to show that. So Monkey's going to help me with the noodles. So we'll come back out in a little bit and check on this. See, every time you raise that, you gotta be careful; it's gonna drop down. But it'll it'll slowly come back up. So, okay, guys, it's been about two hours forty five minutes. Ooh, it's looking nice. I, I did scrape some of the coals up under there. So you can see it's starting to split. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some mustard sauce and put over this and. Um, 
I'll let it cook oh, about another 45 minutes and then I'll take it in and let it rest. You can see the juices starting to split open. Good. It's getting there, guys. Okay, guys, so I think it's worth mentioning. You can do this with a spiral ham, but remember, when that's that spiral that's all that's already cut. So if you do a spiral, you have to kind of babysit it because if you don't, all you know, there's nothing to hold the juices in. Juices are going to come out and they're just going to lay in the pan and it's going to dry out on you. So you got to be out here every 10 to 15 minutes, no more, based in that ham. Okay, so that way, if you, you know, um, if you want to spiral. Yes, you can smoke it. You just got to babysit it because, like I said, all the juices come out. Well, you got to keep them juices in, so you have to put them back in. Now, the ham we used was not spiral cut, so, you know, it still had its rind or its, its skin on it to hold the juices in. Also, I used a 12-pound bag of... Hell, you guys can't see anything. I used a 12-pound pound bag of charcoal. Um, what I did was I used about half when we started and about halfway through about an hour and a half I put the I scooted the coals over underneath the uh, the ham and then I put the other half in lit it um, If you do it that way just make sure your ham don't get too hot by them flames Because what I would normally do which I don't have is what I call a chimney We call them chimneys in Ohio. You, you can put your um your charcoal in and you light it and it gets hot and it's ready and then all you got to do is dump it in but if you're careful you can do it the way I did it but I used uh, like I said um, approximately six pounds to start and then once them start burning down you slide them under the ham and then you put your other about six pounds beside it depending on the size of your ham too but you know like I said that's pretty big hams almost might as well say 14 pounds so I just thought that was worth mentioning so keep that in mind if you're going to smoke a spiral ham there it is now I'm going to take it off of here and I'm going to take it in and once my stuffing gets done I'll put this into the oven just to reheat a little bit but it does it is 128 degrees inside now so that's pretty much done and uh, yeah I'll show you one more when we're cutting into it but I'm going to like I said I'll leave it out here for a little longer then once my stuffing's done then I'll put that back in the oven just to make sure it's going to heat up a little bit more I might not have to so I think it should be alright though but I'll show you when we cut into it besides I want to get the pan drippings out of here and make some gravy okay guys so I started cutting almost forgot to turn you on but this is the ham that we smoked. Look at that. Oh. Isn't that nice? Yes. Get around that bone there. This is a bone-in ham, too, so. Wow. It looks juicy and pink and good. Mm-hmm. All right, Monkey, you need to try a piece of this. Mm-hmm. Um, One for you. I'm gonna get one for your mom. Is it hot? Mm-hmm. It's very hot. How is it? It's hot. How is it? Very good. It's hot. Yeah, I know. It's really good. Oh. Can you taste the smoke? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Isn't that good? Mm. Did a great job. Babe. Thank you. Okay, guys, so there you go. Merry Christmas, everyone. And that's how you smoke a ham. It's real easy. Put it in, check it every hour or so, baste it in between times. Good to go. All right. So, Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> Bye, guys. Merry Christmas. Shea Bird, Myth Man, Legend, Gone for Now, Monk. Mike Sushi's out for now, you guys. Bye. Bye.